Hi, welcome to Seymour's World Commentary on ThinkTech Hawaii. Our topic today is do it right the first time. I'm willing to bet there are things that you do every day that you aren't great at. Me too. Maybe we can form and join the club together. We'll have billions of our fellow world citizens as company. People have their theories on life, its meaning and why we're here. We can all debate those things, figure out what's right and try to determine what fits for us. One thing I know is that life is always trying to teach us a lesson. I believe all of us are on a path toward discovering the unique talent or talents that we have, that we are meant to share with the world. We search our souls for what makes us tick, what we enjoy, and how we can continuously improve through trial and error. I've had major successes, won awards, and been honored by my peers. I've also performed inadequately, failed miserably, and been fired. I've had ebbs and flows of working hard, or not exactly working hard at all, having, loving what I do, and ultimately changing professions. A valuable, valuable takeaway from all of this is, if you're going to spend your time doing something, do it well and do it right. The biggest mistake you can make, particularly early on in your life, is attempting to just get by. You need passion and enthusiasm. While it may work in the short term, the mindset of just getting by will slowly eat away at you from the inside. It will harm your future prospects for success. When you're just trying to get by, you're not giving your best shot, and you're living without passion. Passion and enthusiasm and vitality for a given pursuit. It's essential for you to perform your best. Peyton Manning became one of the greatest players in NFL history. Why? Because reading between the lines, I realized that he was able to break tons of records, win two Super Bowls, and carve out a certain Hall of Fame career because he loved everything about the game of football. I believe every detail matters. Do it right. Half-hearted efforts simply do not cut in the modern world. This is nothing new. They never have. And yet far too many people go through life thinking they can just half-ass their way through and get by. Somehow, they'll be picked up along the way and be able to support themselves and find happiness. It's a long road to ruin. That much I know from my personal experience. Of course, there is a lesson in all of this. Every detail matters. Everything we do, from the little things all the way up to what we perceive to be the big things, matters. Do it well. Do it right the first time. And that consistency and routine will set the tone for how we manage our approach to everything else. We all operate with a limited amount of time. Time is by far our most precious commodity. As we get older, more responsibilities come on our plate, expectations increase, and we only have a finite amount of time to maximize our potential in each situation. Get it right the first time by concentrating with maximum focus, energy, and effort on all that you do. Thank you for watching Seymour's World on ThinkTech Hawaii. I would love to read your comments. Aloha, Seymour.